Thank you for tuning in. As painful as this is to watch, I wanted to share my maiden that I covered in a previous video with this Bixler quad plane and how I was successful in the forward transition but ultimately made a rookie mistake, just let off the throttle, the stall speed is going to be higher and uh, you can see here coming around I lose speed, ultimately end up in a stall and then straight to the ground. So this video covers the repair as well as the successful forward transition and back transition. I put together just a brief slideshow of photos that I took after the crash as well as the repair process. And to be honest, I thought I would fare much worse. You can see the damage. Uh, mainly this left boom holds the left front and the left rear motor uh, broke off. The cockpit snapped clean off, which makes sense. This took a nose dive straight down. The canopy cover is also pretty banged up. And there's some minor cracks here and there, but all the servos and electronics were okay. We did lose the cover for the GPS module, uh, but that's the extent of the damage. All the wiring was still intact, which was good. I was able to disconnect the servos, independently test all of them to make sure we had no major issues. Here you can see I used these shims that I got from Home Depot uh, to mount these carbon fiber booms to the wing and uh, that left one is the one that snapped straight off. This is inside the fuselage. The Pixhawk cube was still intact which was great. Uh, no issues there. You can see that the motor mount completely broke free from its housing. This is me beginning the repair process. This plastic piece goes into the fuselage and is what holds the landing gear in place. So some, I was able to use rubber bands, zip ties, Gorilla Glue to get everything back intact. Here we have a massive amount of Gorilla Glue and a clamp to get the shim and boom mounted back to the left wing. Here you can see the zip tie job everything pretty much ready to go. And the last step was gluing the cockpit back to the fuselage to get the quad plane ready to go back in the air. Before we get to what I'm calling the second maiden, I wanted to share just a quick backyard test. And I also wanted to point out that I left the parameters the same as with my original flight. My goal is to keep the speed up not stall and just get a baseline for how it performs so that we can tweak the parameters over time and get everything fine-tuned. A little windy. Wind's getting a hold of it, but pretty pleased so far. At the field, getting ready for the second maiden. If you followed the first one, you'll know that we had a successful forward transition, worked really well. The goal of this flight was to forward transition, fly around, and then back transition to hover and land. And just a thanks to my buddies, Ryan and Andy, for coming out. If you guys have done these sort of builds, you know how nerve wracking they can be. Alrighty. Beautiful. Yeah. Got a Dang, flutter. A little shimmy. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Well, maybe trying to go in a, to go in a hover? Yeah. It's really hard to turn, too. 
Alright, here's what I'm going to do. Now it's flying better. Yeah. That's weird. I'm going to go into hover mode right here. Dude, I probably shouldn't be like all the way. That was beautiful. Don't land on Jamie's car. Really stable. So I was able to do the successful second maiden with a forward transition, back transition to hover and land. Really excited about that, but as you probably heard in the video, there was a bit of oscillation as I was coming around to transition back to Q stabilize mode. And where I currently am, my hypothesis is something related to the stall prevention setup. And you can see here that this mode kicks into gear when there is a potential stall detected and the two parameters that I've been looking at are stall prevention, which if you look at the Ardu Pilot source code, by default this is enabled. The other parameter is this fly-by-wire minimum airspeed. So my understanding is if you drop below this, you're going to get a stall prevention assistance. And let's look at my parameters real quick. You'll notice once again stall prevention is on and the default value that is set for this airspeed fly-by-wire min is 9. Now I mentioned earlier that I'm using the default parameters but this seems really suspicious. I've looked through the source code. Nowhere do I see in any of the profiles uh, of Arduplane that this is set to 9. So perhaps I change that. I'm going to do another video where I analyze the log files and see uh, just what the outputs look like and whether or not I've triggered the stall prevention. Thank you guys for following along with this project. It's definitely been challenging and fun, a bit frustrating at times, but I'm going to be adding the airspeed sensor and in an upcoming video, I'll cover some of the stuff I've discovered with the log files, as well as sharing how hopefully we can get this dialed in. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.